Guess who's back? Guess who's back? Guess who's back? It's your boy B again with a quick repair. I'm gonna do a fusion unit on a 42, 4300. I did an all-in-one video before, but this one's just gonna be a specific uh, for the fusion unit. I'm gonna go really fast. Try to break my record, but I will be explaining how I do it. So uh, let's get started. Hopefully you guys can see me in this camera. Looks good. First thing I like to do is remove the drum unit. Get yourself a flathead. I know there's a proper way to do this, but I always find my own methods and use that. Pop the two clips out on each side. Pull out the drum unit, just because we'll be vacuuming in here and stuff like that. It also frees up the space. Let's pull off the top. Two screws here. One and two. Each side. Use your back hand here and you can pop off the top. Take the panel off. Watch out, don't lift too hard because there's a ribbon cable under here. Pull that straight up. Okay, now let's go to the back. Pull off this cover here. Bam. There's a screw here at the bottom. Just take the black one off, the one that's at the very bottom. It's a plastic screw. And then a little clip underneath. Right there. Now there's two connectors on the inside, a power and a sensor connector. Pull those out and down. Inside there's a little black clip. I don't know if you can see, but it's on the left side here. Just pull that out. Use a flathead. Right there. Okay. Next connectors down here at the bottom and one screw on the side that releases this uh, grounding connector. Just pull these out. Get your screwdriver. Release that. Release that. Okay, now Paper tray out first. Dee -dee -dee. Okay, this flap here, just flex it, comes out. Here, there's a little gray like panel here. What I have to do is kind of press in on it. There's three clips and press it down. Kind of flex it. A lot of flexing with these models. And it comes right off. All right. And then one more flex on this. Just the door on the left, kind of flex in. Release the connectors. Cool. Connector looks good. Let's blow that out. Sweet. Alright, awesome. That one looks good. Now we're ready to go after the fusing unit, which is right here. Just two screws and one on the left and on the right. One, two, and then a connector piece. And then two connections on the inside. One, you can use a flat edge or anything to get the wires too. And that's it, we're done done. Go ahead and pull it out. I thought the connector fusing unit is out. Now I'm going to try to put it in quick. Let me just vacuum. The inside, it gets kind of dirty.
normally would clean this a lot better, but for the sake of the, the video time, I'm gonna do a little fast. All right, fusion. We're gonna go back in, take all the tape off. out slide these in first on the left hand side that'll feed through now this could be a little tricky just sure your cables are out of the way. Kind of align it on both sides. Make sure cables can get in the way on the left hand side. So make sure those are out of the way. snaps in. This could take a little bit. It's You almost got to tilt it back at an angle and then press it in, but you'll hear it kind of snap into place. Then put your cables back in. Okay, one. And two. And the gray cable goes on the right. You can't mix them up, so you're fine. It's dummy proof. Alright, so they're in. Tuck your cables underneath. And put your plate back on. Two screws. They're the bigger ones, plastic looking ones. Plug in the fusing unit connector, the power connector, and the sensor connector. One and two. Cables to the right. The grounding cable goes back up. Other cables come in around the side. Flex it back in, get one side in, and then on this side just press in and flex it in. Nice. Looking good. All the wires look good. You can reattach them. Actually, first I like to put this on first. Align these three with the grooves. And then use your hand underneath it, snap them back in. Two, three, four, oh, yeah. Then I'll do the wires. Match the colors, gray at the top, white at the bottom. One, two. Oh, perfect. Rounding plate, wrap that back around. Stick screw as well. Just keep that 
there, that's fine. Use this, put that back on. Clip, this goes on the side where the wires are. Get right in there. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Next, this little plate here, can put that back on. Black plastic screw. Next is this plate. First align it and snap it in place. Two, done, done. Throw this back in. Next up. Alright, remember the ribbon cable. Blue side towards you. Just press it right down in there evenly. Make sure it's all the way down, but don't press too hard. Back in two screws. Make sure you're on a low torque setting for the plastic screws. I like to do two or three or four. And we'll put the drum clips back in. I use a flat head to get it in place and snap it back. Cool. Last but not least is the paper tray. And we are golden. We'll power it up really quick. Make sure we get no air. Yes, and we look good. Run a test print once this boots up. And that's how you do a fusing unit on a Kyocera FS42-4300. This might work for some other models. I'm just not sure. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you later. Peace.